In this video, we are going to learn about filters. Filters are a really super powerful tool that make especially linked references uh, really powerful, but they also work well um, within an individual page too. Uh, filters can be used to, uh, you know, get you narrowed down on information, to include information, or to exclude information. And the information is all based on the references that you have. So when you've done, uh, you know, we've created references, it's very easy to do this. You know, in the last workflow, I was showing you Tom Smith, and I kind of loosely talked about the filters in that mix. So if I wanted to look at Tom Smith, and I wanted specifically to look at every time that we talked about Instagram, all I have to do is go here to this little filter right above the linked references, click on that, come here and type Instagram, start typing, it'll come up. And lo and behold, very easily, I have every time that we talked about Instagram. And I can track the journey of that conversation super simply. Uh, you know, the Daily Notes page that we talked about in the last uh, module and workflow makes it, makes it very easy to see that journey over time um, of where those conversations are. Um, also, if, for instance, I wanted to see every time that we talked about everything but Instagram, instead of clicking it to include it, I can shift click it to exclude it. And now I have everything but all the times that we talked about Instagram. Same thing with coachings. Maybe I want to see only the, I want to look back through all of the coaching sessions I had with Tom. If I click it, I include it. And now the only thing over here is everything that discussed during a coaching session. Maybe I want to see everything but the things we discussed in the coaching sessions. Shift click coaching. And now I just have the call that Tom uh, supposedly gave me at, uh, today at 6 38 so uh, p.m so i don't know he's he's going to call me i'm I am, i'm very prescient about such things uh, so the idea of these filters here is that you can use them to include or to remove specific references um, and notice i already kind of demonstrated this but you can filter through them just simply by typing so you can you can just kind of look down through them but if you click search references, as soon as you start typing, I want to see every time we talked about payment, uh, I can do that. I click payment and there it is. Um, you can see all of this. Notice just as a side note um, that here I double wrapped a couple of things. Client payment is one page, but then I also put payment itself into double brackets. This is what that looks like on the, uh, on the uh, page. What this allows me to do is that this now I have a reference to payment with inside the reference to client payment. So anytime I use this page, that's also going to count as a reference to the word payment. Uh, that can be useful if you have concepts that are uh, sort of uh, accrue like that. Uh, if you want to, uh, if one concept is inherently related to another concept, uh, so tightly related that, that it's, it's useful to reference the page in the title, you can do that. So that's a complete side note, nothing to do with filters, except that it does notice that the filter does catch this, even though I filtered by payment, it catches client payment as you do that. Filters are in two different places on the page. You just watched me use linked references filters. You'll notice at the top, there's another filter up there. The only place you won't see this top filter is on the Daily Notes page. Uh, there is no top filter on the Daily Notes page. Um, but if we come back into Tom's page here, you'll notice I don't have anything on Tom's page. Uh, let's create a few things for Tom Page. Let's say that he has um, a phone number of this and by the way this is not how i would go about doing this in real life i wouldn't tag it in this way i would use an attribute we haven't learned about attributes yet so i'm not going to deal with that we'll say tom's email is tom at tom.com um that's his email um and so forth and so on now you'll come up here to the filters you'll notice first and foremost what you have available as filters in the top of the page versus what's available on linked references is completely different uh, so these are two, two completely different animals. What's down here is in the, is where these Tom Smith is referenced. What's up here is what what is on the specific page. The only two things here are phone and email. So I can include email, and that's the only thing I'll see. I can exclude or remove email by shift clicking it. Now the only thing I see is phone. So the idea behind this is, um, as long as it's a page reference, it's going to be accessible in the filter menu. Um, if it's on the page, you want the one at the top. If it's in the linked references, you want the one down by the linked references. 
and it's very easy to search to narrow down to the one you want to find by just simply search and you can also by the way pile them up so if i want to look at all the coachings where we talked about instagram and also um, the coachings occurred on november 18th i can narrow down and, and pile those things up and, and and do that i can also exclude the one on november 18th so i can see the others besides that so that's uh, you know as you, you can stack filters like that as well um, for particular things and filters, I think, are, are really useful like that. Sometimes if, you know, queries, which we'll learn about in a while, may be the more relevant use, use depending on, uh, you know, how much you need something to be hard-coded, like to see it every time. Uh, but, uh, you know, filters are, the, are a great way to kind of on the fly uh, dig down through information. They, they, what I, they amp up the power of linked references is how I put it, uh, because you don't have to... Uh, uh, you don't have to know exactly where something is in the linked references because you can dig in and you can find it using the filters. And uh, I found this very useful when working with clients. Uh, you know, if we start onto a topic that it's something we've discussed a few times before, uh, it's extremely useful to be able to on the fly dig, you know, look down into that topic uh, and review my notes even while the conversation's happening. Um, you know, they may have something that they bring up and, uh, I can kind of say, Hey, yeah, let me, t let me look back here and see what you said about that before. Let me look what we talked about before. Uh, that's extremely useful. So when you combine the filters with the linked references like this, especially, but also with what you have on the page, um, it is a very powerful feature, uh, that gives you, uh, a lot of different, uh, options and tools. Um, or it's a tool that provides you a lot of different options, uh, with how to, uh, use the information that you have entered into your Rome Research Graph.